I'm gonna show you how we can create this date and time pickers in Material UI. So the date picker looks like this. You can pick the date and the time picker is like this to pick the time. So if you go to this components and for inputs you will go here date and time you'll find all the documentation uh, listed down in this phase then click on this with the uh, link so it will redirect you to a new website so this website is designed for this uh, pickers for material ui pickers you check the github So you can see that this is actually a different project. So here it's the installation process is written. The first thing we need to install this material UI pickers library and also we need one extra library to manage the date. So they have like uh, four different options available. So we can use this data finish or moment.js or this luxon or dj's any one of this leap with this one let me install the first one this material pickers this is the base library i'm using this npmi command to install this and for this peer library i'm gonna use this moment if i go here then you can see that this is the basic example of uh, how we can use this material uh, means pickers the first thing we need is one utils provider that is defined inside this material level pickers and for this utils provider we need to pass one, comp uh, one component as utils so this component can be like moment utils if you are using moment or if you are using data finish if this data finish utils and for this one it's luxon utils so since we are using moment this we need to use this one and inside this provider we can use these other pickers libraries like date picker or this time picker it provides three types of pickers the first one is date picker second one is time picker and the third one is date time picker so the first thing let me copy all this thing imports installation is done so i'm gonna add these imports first we are in, uh, using this use state and react and the second one is we need to import it as date moment utils from we are using moment js so we need to use it says moment then we are um, uh, importing four different types of components one is date picker one is time picker one is date time picker and the another one is mui picker utils provider the next thing we are defining one constant here so this value will contain this the current date and handle date sense will be called to sense this value and this is the so this part we need to return if we are including this date picker time picker and date time picker so for value we are passing this selected date that is the current date time and on sense will call this handle date sense right with this mui picker utils provider and here we are passing this date moment utils we need to pass this as utils provider so if i run and game start now see that we have this date picker we have this time picker and we have this date time picker here we have two parts one is for date one is for time so this is the basic and default of this date time and date time pickers also if you go here this component demo then you will find like different use types of these pickers for example this basic use i'm gonna show this code 
and I'm gonna copy this one so let me replace it with the dead picker that we have now if I go here and this dead picker is little bit since we can clear the item it actually clears all this because we are reading the data from one variable we have this time figures here so let me check and get one time picker you can explore through these examples to learn how we can customize them differently so this is a bit changed and also for date time figures we can check for different use cases so let me copy this one and if i paste it here then it's a bit changed now we have one more mode for all these date time and date time figures it's called inline mode so the only difference is that we need to use one different component it's called keyboard date picker keyboard time picker and keyboard date time picker so here if i write it as keyboard date keyboard time and keyboard date time currently if you see that if i click on anywhere then it pops up but if i made this sense and if i save it then i can also delete this data from here i can delete the data and i can enter it using the keyboard also here it add that one new icon so if i click on this icon then it pops up so these are four keyboard date picker keyboard time picker and keyboard date time picker similarly it provides like different types of customization like we can change icons also we can change like different properties of these formats so if you go through their documentation here then you will find all these examples and how we can customize them so this is the basics of how we can use these words. find this video useful then please like it and please subscribe to my channel thanks bye